health effects of red meat, white meat, plant-based and fish as protein sources. Cholesterol levels. A study conducted by researchers found that red meat and white meat might have equal effects on blood cholesterol. This finding challenges conventional wisdom and suggests that factors other than saturated fat may better explain the long-touted link between red meat consumption and heart disease. The study evaluated changes in blood cholesterol levels after participants consumed diets containing high levels of proteins from either lean red meat, lean white meat, or non-meat sources, including vegetables. Interestingly, both types of meat protein resulted in higher blood cholesterol than the non-meat diets. The takeaway, plant proteins are healthier for blood cholesterol levels than both red and white meat. Other risks associated with meat. While the inclusion of lean red meat in a healthy, varied diet may be beneficial during certain conditions, there is increasing evidence that processed meat, both red and white, is associated with increased risks of cardiovascular disease, or CVD, cancer, and dementia. White meat, however, appears to be neutral or associated with a lower risk, compared to red meat. All-cause mortality here means, deaths from all causes, whether it is from heart disease, stroke, cancer, or any other. Let's explore the research on all-cause mortality risk, or risk of death from various health issues. Research on deaths associated with red meat, white meat, and plant-based meals are as follows. Substitution of animal-based with plant-based foods. A systematic review and meta-analysis of prospective studies investigated the impact of substituting animal-based foods with plant-based alternatives on cardiometabolic health and all-cause mortality. The study found that replacing certain animal-based foods with plant-based options was beneficially associated with health outcomes. Red meat and all-cause mortality. When substituting red meat with specific plant-based foods, the following associations were observed. Replacing red meat with nuts or whole grains was linked to a reduced risk of all-cause mortality. The hazard ratio for all-cause mortality when replacing red meat with nuts was approximately 0.93 with 95% confidence. In other words, there is a 6% reduction in death. Similarly, replacing red meat with whole grains resulted in an HR of approximately 0.96 or 4% reduction. Processed meat and all-cause mortality. Substituting processed meat with specific plant-based foods also showed favorable associations. Replacing processed meat with nuts or legumes was associated with a reduced risk of all-cause mortality. The all-cause mortality when replacing processed meat with nuts was approximately 0.79 or 21% and when replacing processed meat with legumes resulting in approximately 0.91 reduction. That is 9%. It is questionable why nuts are better than legumes. Other associations. The study also found that replacing eggs with nuts or legumes, as well as butter with olive oil, was associated with a lower risk of all-cause mortality. However, the certainty of evidence for other associations was either low or very low. Impact of fish consumption on mortality. Consuming fish has been associated with several health benefits, including a potential reduction in all-cause mortality. A meta-analysis of prospective studies found that high fish consumption was linked to a lower risk of all-cause mortality. Specifically, the regular consumption of fish may reduce the risk of all-cause mortality by 6-14% compared to a standard diet which we call an omnivorous diet. Frequency matters. The relationship between fish intake and mortality is not linear. In one study, a U-shaped association was observed. Fish consumption between 0 and 60 grams per day showed an increased risk of all-cause mortality. However, with increasing fish intake beyond approximately 60 grams per day, the risk decreased significantly. Dementia and fish intake. A community-based cohort study investigated fish consumption in older people with and without dementia. Among participants without dementia, fish intake at is greater than or equal to twice a week was associated with a reduced risk of all-cause mortality. However, this association was not observed in people with dementia. Recommendation. Based on available evidence, increasing fish intake in older adults, prior to the development of dementia, may help prevent dementia and prolong life. Including fish in the diet is beneficial for overall health, but the specific impact on mortality may vary depending on individual factors. Shifting from animal-based, such as red and processed meat, eggs, dairy, poultry, and butter, to plant-based, such as nuts, 
legumes, whole grains, and olive oil, and fish appears to be beneficial for both cardiometabolic health and all-cause mortality. The connection between red meat consumption and cancer risk. Red meat and cancer risk. When we refer to red meat in the context of cancer risk, we are talking about meats such as beef, veal, pork, lamb, mutton, venison, and goat. It does not include white meat like fresh chicken, turkey, or fish. The evidence suggests that there is a link between excess consumption of red meat and an increased risk of bowel cancer, also known as colorectal cancer. Experts from the International Association for Research on Cancer reviewed the evidence and concluded that there is strong evidence to suggest that excess red meat consumption is a probable carcinogen for bowel cancer. However, they couldn't precisely quantify how much red meat consumption increases the risk. Still, there appears to be an association with increased cancer risk when consuming more than 100 grams of red meat per day. Processed Meats and Cancer Risk Processed meats, on the other hand, are meats that have undergone transformations such as salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Examples include hot dogs, ham, jerky, corned beef, and canned meat. The International Agency for Research on Cancer found that excess consumption of processed meats increases the risk of bowel cancer. Consuming a 50 grams portion of processed meat daily, equivalent to about two slices of bacon, was associated with an 18% increased risk of bowel cancer over the long term. Recommendations To reduce your cancer risk Limit red meat consumption Aim for no more than one serve of lean red meat per day or two serves three four times per week. Avoid processed meats altogether or keep them to an absolute minimum. Choose lean cuts of meat, incorporate more fish, and include plenty of plant-based foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in your diet. White meat in the context of health and nutrition. White meat. White meat generally includes poultry such as chicken and turkey. Unlike red meat, white meat is considered leaner and lower in saturated fat. Here are some points to consider. Nutritional aspects. Lean protein. White meat is an excellent source of lean protein, which is essential for muscle health, immune function, and overall well-being. Lower saturated fat. Compared to red meat, white meat tends to have lower saturated fat content. Vitamins and minerals. White meat provides essential nutrients such as vitamin B12, niacin, and selenium. Health considerations. Cardiovascular health. Consuming white meat, especially skinless poultry, is associated with lower cardiovascular risk compared to red meat, but that does not mean it is better than plant-based protein. Cancer risk. While white meat is generally considered healthier, there is less evidence linking it to cancer risk compared to red and processed meats. Preparation matters. How you prepare white meat matters. Grilled, baked, or roasted options are better than fried versions. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe. Up, above you see a video related to health. Thanks very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.